chasing all game. The field pace or deja vu in the sometimes it's seen two steps forward, step back. But what what didn't you have at the beginning that we didn't have a cover over the basket. I mean, yeah, I mean, I say that they, they did a, uh, they just shot the ball. Uh, you know, the one hit the rim and touched the top of the ceiling and bounced in. It was like, I think that was their 11th point or maybe the eighth, I don't know. And, and it's just like, whoa. And, um, you know, we saw that a little bit here a month ago with Michigan State. They came in, hit their first six shots. Um, but they just kept going and going and going and going. And I didn't think we were as uh, aggressive defensively as we needed to be. You know, we, were, we were closing short. They were shooting deep shots. And, and we talked about halftime, we got to adjust our defense. We got to got to close farther out and, and, and get a hand up. And I thought we did a much better job in the second half. And then, you know, late, uh, you know, probably to play of the game, we're up 62 61. We get the rebound, it gets deflected out. Uh, they pick it up, spray it, and, and hit a three in the corner. Um, but, you know, it just, uh, the start was, you know, we had a couple of decent looks, um, but they were just, they, they were making shots at an alarming, alarming rate. What, what was halftime like then? Were you, I mean, you know, they made points and happy with their making shots. Were you, were you angry? Were you, well, I, I just I challenge our guys to, to make Indiana fill us a little bit more on, on the defensive end. You know, I didn't think we were too awful um, on, on the offensive end. But uh, you know, ironically, I told them, say, Let's, let, we're going to cut this thing to three here early in the second half. And the first time out, we got it down to three. Um, but I just, I, you know, it was, it was just more of a challenge of, of the defensive end and, and doing what we needed to do. You kind of mentioned it there, but you go up by one after CJ hits that three, and I think how you scored the next ten, just outside of that three that they hit. What what was the difference there in that in that stretch? That kind of, as soon as you got back, that kind of happened so quick. Yeah, you know they they threw the box and one up and and on uh, Jaquan, and we looked like we'd never seen it before, and and we we froze momentarily, and it's like wait a minute. And then once once we our guys understood what we were trying to do. Uh, we started scoring again, but um, you know uh, they they you know we miss a three in the corner and, and they get a layup. I mean they were getting and ones. That was, that was another thing. Um, the, the fouls we were committing it was it was and ones. It wasn't just twos. It was layups and, and a free throws. You mentioned the, the boxing one, maybe Sonny and Jake one a little bit. Had 15 in the first half, and it just didn't seem. To Get on track in the second half. Was it was it the box and one? Was it something they were doing? Or no, I, I think you know. I don't say he ran out of gas, but uh, he looked he looked uh, tired out there. Was was short on his free throws, and and um, uh, they just didn't have the same juice going on. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Robert Johnson has really struggled for Indiana from the field. I think he was seven of forty-two from the three in the last eight games. Was it? I mean, is that one of the situations where you know when a guy is that good of a shooter that he may break out at any time? Yeah, I've, I've said this. We're a get well card for guys. Um, you're struggling, play play Ohio State, and you get out of your slump just like that. It's been that way all all year long. Um, I, I can name guy after guy after guy, but uh, no, he was he was tremendous. I mean, the, the three. Uh, on mark at the end of the shot clock there in the first half. I mean, that was about as good a defense as we could play. And, you know, he hits a shot from 24 feet with a hand in his face. I mean, he was just, he was on one today. He did a great job. Uh, I just on this too, but you guys scored 92 points today and, and you still don't win. This guy who's had really good defensive teams here, how does that sit with you, you score that many? Yeah, uh, you know, I haven't even really thought about it. Uh, but the 54 at halftime was, uh, I don't think we've ever given up that many points that I can think of. Um, you know, but they, they were, like I said, they were rolling. I mean, I, I give Indiana credit. They were, they were on one today. And, um, uh, you know, we probably played 10 minutes of, of good defense out of 30. But uh, they, they made us pay uh, quite a bit. And, you know, we just, we, we made a couple mistakes. We gave baseline spins in the post. We, Get trapped on a or, or pinned in on a screen uh, late in the game. They hit a three. I mean, that's those are things we, we covered in day one, and uh, we didn't get that done. Two more. 
Yeah, from the from the start, it seemed like the offense that Indiana was just running with was a lot faster than maybe what your players were anticipating. Then you threw some things out there, like double team in the post, and even one with a little press. Was that designed to kind of slow the game down? Yeah, I mean we were. At, at that point, I was doing anything that would see if it would stick uh, to, to try to stop them. And, uh, you know, I thought that it, it, it definitely helped us a little bit, maybe got them from, it seemed like they were playing in 10th gear to 8th gear. But, um, you know, those were things I thought that helped us get back into, into the game. You said the other day that once you got through the season, take a step back and focus on the next goal. And obviously now it's the big Ten tournament. You guys are going to play in the first day. As you sit here now, how do you feel regular season is over? What, what do you take stock of right now, now heading into the tournament? Uh, who are we playing, you know? Done with it. The Michigan-Nebraska game, it depends on that. OK. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll take a look at this and, and find out who our next opponent is and uh, when we play, who we play. Um, the only thing I know right now is it's in Washington, D.C. Uh, but, you know, hey, we gotta, we, we, we've made some steady gains, I think, throughout the course of the last couple of weeks. Um, we just, we, we got to find a, a way to, to, to keep playing the best, that, the most consistent that we can. Not the best that we can, just the most consistent. Thanks, Thank you.